themselves. They have mixed things up here. The March Warlock does put KP into the offlane. They're gonna get a Fissure Block onto MP. There's four Phoenix Heroes here. They're looking for a first blood and they're gonna get it here. MP completely blocked in. Denied by Pugna. Oh, hot six. As there was no ward there. And uh, once again, the Pugna, he actually heads back top, I think. They want KP and they'll get him a couple of Shattered Poison stacks enough. He actually leveled that up. Not something I was expecting to be as potent as it was. Another oh, Shadow Poison stack. Straight in for this. Nuts. Wants to kill one more poison. That's going to be a kill onto Nuts, I believe. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Uh, coming soon. Not yet. Meanwhile, March getting low. Does say a lave against 4F here. Nuts is lingering around. He knows he's dead. We'll go down to the Shadow Demon who does not get XP for it. And I feel is going to save their lives. Oh, they're going to leave with the Fissure. Follow up with the Infernal. Sunbi gets the GA off just in time to save him. Who's on the back foot, but the Sonic Wave flink in from QO. Finishes off the one kill. They want Jerix as well off to the side. Doesn't look like they'll find him initially. Fissure may be out of range, but QO. Still in this fight. Looking to get a bit more damage here with the Necro Books. Doesn't look like they'll find a Fissure from low ground to high ground. The Echo Slam comes out as well. Used mostly defensively. Sunbeam on Omni Knight goes down, and Debbie's still alive, and Kiki has to deal with this Weaver. Won't be able to do so. A two for one trade, possibly a slight overextension as QO in trouble as well. No mana for a blink, misses the stun, won't matter. At that medium camp, and then you like blink from the medium camp to that big camp, right past them. That was just unlucky times. This is such an awkward fight that's about to happen. Oh, the glimpse back on the MP, he ain't gonna be the one getting caught up, but the purification does a lot of damage. QO getting low, MP cannot finish off the kill. They're gonna get them one onto the Pugna now, and, he, and KP in the front lane's doing big, big damage. MP forced back, does not want to fight into the Necro 3, but this Necro 3 could blow up on him. MP gets close to bringing it down, doesn't do so. He gets a double kill instead. Sonic Wave off to the side, does not get Sunbe. The scream will, but MP's there. Has a Lightning Storm as well as Pulse Nova, needs vision to use it. Q won't blink out, not in time. KP is marched forward, but this does not look like a fight he's going to win. He feeds away his life. I mean, Jerex, a lot of farm to his name, anything to cancel the TP, you betcha. Jerex, Echo Slam, MP's there with a Repel on himself, he's going to turn this around, bring down Febby on the Earthshaker. We'll farm up the Necrobooks as well, that's some easy money going his way. Joy's blink forward, wants to finish off Jerex, will do so, Sunbeam not there in time. And now, they want Queen of Pain, they want the Punish, and it's so like low. they'll get it. Oh man, a Blink Decker on MP slash Shrek, and now they can clean up these rocks even, KP on the front line. Doing what he can, the Static Storm goes down, MP. They don't have a way to get in though, and actually make use of this Chunker ult as KP. Well, now he does, and uh, Sunbeam's actually just gonna heal him up, I think. And Sunbeam doing what he can, pulls out the Guardian Angel now. This Quill Spray is not gonna do anything during this. MP still fighting strong, has a lot of Bloodstone charges. And they don't kill off Lashrak. Frav though is coming. His laning phase didn't matter so much. And I think that was the plan here. Oh, this is a big kill they can get. Where's the Omni Knight? He's nearby, but the Static Storm's in the way. Great in Bowles this time. He gets the Lashrak kill, but it's an insta respawn. Sunbeam's on a hero you want to lose. He'll pop the Guardian Angel, maybe somewhat preemptively. But he had to do so to save his life. KP on the low ring. Life drain by Heen, who's going to now get down by the Queen of Pain. Kyuwo wants this kill. Will be a defensive drop from Jerex, but it's going to be a chaotic infernal. Waiting for him, and this is suddenly being turned around pretty decently for Hot Six. That less track we of MVP Hot Six. Oh, there's a refresher though. Warlock's timing has come online. They've got the quad infernals. Down go the first lot. Down go the second lot. They go in on MP, but he's still fine. Sunbi has the Guardian Angel. They're just going to tear apart the so rest. And there goes what? Nine K in net worth that went what? to absolutely nothing. With those infernals or like something else I'm looking at here. They were, it does make the infernals have lower base HP and Leshrac has spread damage. He we, works great against that. We were so excited for a second and then they disappeared. <laughs> I'm, I thought he'd go more for the back lines, but drop them just on a Leshrac and Leshrac is still full HP. He also life skills off of them with the Octarine Core. This is looking really bad for Fiends. They've got no Warlock ultimate. Queen of Pain goes in with the Sonic Wave. It's being healed off by the Omni Knight. Only the Pugna gets low, and Pugna's still alive for now. Heen taking damage with the Shadow Strike, but it's going to be QO. The target, MP, Blitz takes a, a bit of damage there from a Necro 3 unit, but he's going to heal it back up using the time lapse. And now, bottom lane of Rax will be claimed. MVP Hot 6 with a 2 1 lead. Get one Rax closer to cinching their spot at the International 5 in Seattle. All of a sudden, MVP Phoenix. I mean, this is has, this has to be so demoralizing. 
you drop the quad rocks and it does nothing. Oh man, and then Warlock just gonna get jumped. It's gonna go a lot better than it did yep. with all of the rocks. And he's like, okay, we're gonna have the sick pushing lineup. We can deal with the Weaver in fights, but they didn't uh, account for the slush right. So the high ground we go, MP blinks forward, no longer has an Aegis, but he doesn't seem to care. He's getting healed up, and no one on the hot six side taking damage. They drop the rocks once more, but MP in the static storm will just run south instead. Now he's going to turn and fight. Just starts throwing nukes at the rock. He's healing himself up. His team in a bit of trouble. Leshrac finally goes down, but five second respawn. Boots of Travel, he can come back in four, of, won't get off a time lapse though, he'll buy back time lapse, he's back, full HP, Lesrex back as well, and this mid lane is in all sorts of trouble, oh, Spaggy he wins, oh, he's back to Fountain, can Weaver afford Boots of Travel, doesn't look like it, Forev, marches forward, Lesrex cannot get in, actually, sorry, when we down here, we kind of forgot about him in this fight, but Mega Creep should mean the game, as they don't have both the golems to deal with this, QO is going to come in with the BKB, Bebby's coming in as well, but they just don't have the damage right now as uh, the Leshrac is dropping a little bit low, but Bebby, he's going to get taken out, and they just don't have the damage to deal with this Leshrac at this point in the game. The Decrep blocking the Bristleback damage, and with that, Mega Creep's about to be claimed. GG is called, and Hot 6 will be your Korean representative at the International, winning the SEA qualifiers. Meanwhile, MVP Phoenix will be playing and battling their way through the wildcard matches.